Introduction of the laser cutting device. Left is the power switch of the machine. Right is the power switch of the laser cutting. The switch is in the middle and shows a green light. It is in standby mode. Pull the switch down and it turns off. Push the switch to the top and red light is on. Device enters the patch embroidery state. If the cutting effect is not so good, we can push the switch to the top and recut it. These two buttons are for adjusting the power. First, press this mode button. The power number will appear here. Press these two buttons to adjust its power. The number zero is its maximum power. After adjusting the power, then click the enter button. The middle button is to test the working status of the laser. The current power is minus 127. Press the test button. No cutting effect now. Because this power is low, let's turn off the power. Now the power is minus 18. Press the test button again. The parameters of the device need to be operated on the computer. Press this button first. Then press enter. Here it shows flat. Press the center button. Switch to the laser. Press any number from 1 to 9. At the top, we can adjust the mode of the laser. We can switch it by pressing up and down buttons. Press the right button and switch to the second line. The second line is the laser power. It can also be adjusted by pressing up and down buttons. The third line is laser speed. Adjust the speed to 200. Finally, press enter. The setup is done. Next, we will introduce the chilo for the laser device. This is the power switch. These are the operation buttons. And this is the water filling port. Open it and fill it with water. These two tubes connect the machine and chiller. They're marked with numbers before shipment. Tube 1 goes into the inlet. Tube 2 goes in the outlet. Don't get it wrong. The laser device was tested before shipment. So there is already some water in it. It's okay to add water to M. But if there's no water in the laser device, need to add water to H. Finally, this is the drain for the chiller. 